Hey guys, I'm Tim from CircuitScribe, and today I'm going to give you Tim's tips to getting the most out of your CircuitScribe pen. Tip 1. Hold the pen upright. Even though this looks exactly like a ballpoint pen, and it is, the ink has silver flakes in it, so it acts a little bit more like, almost like paint than a pen. So if I hold it upright, it draws a much nicer line. Tip two, don't press too hard. I'm not pressing very hard at all. I'm just giving it a nice, easy flow. Sometimes the ink doesn't go on very silvery, and when that happens, your inclination will be to press harder, but try to resist that, because really, if you just let it dry a little bit and then go over it again with a very light touch, that's when you can really get the ink flowing. Tip three, retrace your steps. Imagine that electricity has to go all the way down this line of ink. And so if I just go over it one more time or even twice if you see little breaks in it, thickens up the ink, gives you a nice conductive surface for the electricity to travel down. These tips also apply to when you're drawing the pads where your electronic modules are going to attach. Hold the pen upright, nice and easy, not pressing too hard, and just go back and forth. And you can see that you can make a nice very silver pad that will conduct electricity very well. Tip four. If the ink just really isn't flowing, it's good to give the pen a nice hard shake like this. If I hold it in the back and just give it some shakes like that, that often can um, get the little silver flakes inside reoriented so that then it'll draw again. So here I'm gonna make a complete circuit here. So. I'm going to hold it upright, draw nice and easy, retrace my steps. Okay. Then we can attach our power module and get this circuit working. So to recap how to get your CircuitScribe pen working really well, tip one, hold the pen upright. Upright is better. Tip two, don't press too hard. If you press too hard, it'll actually lay less ink down on the paper. Tip three, retrace your steps, nice and gentle, back and forth, just go over it a few times. And tip four, if the ink isn't flowing well, you can shake your pen. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you here again.